Hi everybody, this is Anna Tiger and welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time of coming, you're welcome. If you've been before and you're back again, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, guys, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a very easy palazzo pant with no side seam. If you look at the brown paper I've laid on the table, I've got the entire length of the pant I want to make. So that's 44 inches you're looking at. So I'm going to be taking 2 inches for my waistband and make all the necessary markings. Then rule a line to connect the markings together. You want to do that as well. So for this pant guys, we don't really need any waist measurement. The measurement for the waist is taken from the tie measurement. It determines what the waist is going to be. So we're going with the waist, the crotch, the tie measurement, then the length of the pant itself. Only that guys, nothing more than that. Once that is completed, you want to go to the bottom of the paper and take 2 inches for the hemline. I would say the hem allowance. So you make your markings, all the necessary markings and connect it with a straight line. Connect all the dot markings with a straight line. Remember, I already cut the entire length I needed, the 44 inches on this paper before starting the pattern itself. So you want to do that as well. The pant length I'm working with is 40 inches. And once you've taken the 2 inches for the waistband, you know the waist allowance, and the 2 inches for the hem allowance, you'll be left with 40 inches. And that makes the entire length of the pant. If your pant length is the same as this, you want to follow the same. But if it's longer or shorter, you want to work according to the pant length you've got. At this stage, you don't want to forget the place on fold. So take your pen or pencil and scribble it down. Write your place on fold so you don't cut your fabric accidentally. You know, on that side is a no side seam pant. So here we'll be marking our crotch measurement. My crotch measurement is 11.5. I'll be adding 1 inch and the total will be 12.5 inches. So I'll be making markings of 12.5. Whatever your crotch measurement is, make sure you add 1 inch to it. For example, if you've got 9 inches as your crotch measurement, add 1 inch to it to make 10 and make the marking. Because this is a free pant, it's not a tight pant. You want it as free as possible. So rule a line like I'm doing. Next stage, you want to add your tie measurement. One of your ties, not both ties. You measure it all the way around, then divide it by 2 and make the marking, then add 2 inches or 3 inches. On this occasion, I'm adding 2 inches to make it, you know, free. You don't want a tight palazzo pant. I want it free from the waist down. So I've only taken 2 extra inches. As you can see, it gives me 15.5 in the hand. So I'll make a marking all the way up to the waistband and that's my tie measurement which is 15.5. If yours is different you work according to what you've got. So once I do that I'm going to rule a line right up to the waistband and my tie measurement is sorted. So here you're going to add additional 1.5 inches to your tie line and connect it together then draw a curve up like that so that forms the crotch that forms the entire crotch then you can make yours a bit more curved out than mine yeah 
on that line we now have 17 inches the 15.5 plus the 1.5 inches so it's 17 inches now so you mark it all the way down to the hem line so you want to use a ruler and connect the markings together if you've noticed the waistline has stayed the same so is the tie measurement that has determined the waist on this pattern so no need to change anything once that is done you're ready to cut out your palazzo pant as easy as that i want to draw your attention guys to the waistline nothing has been done apart from what we've done already i haven't taken an inch off or three quarters off for a slant there is no slant it's just straight for this palazzo you know pant the front panel is the same as the back panel so you would use the front panel to cut the back panel they stay the same here we have our pattern now ready to lay it on a fabric and cut guys i want you to watch the next part of this video i'll be laying this pattern on the fabric and i'll be stitching the pan together up to the finished look you don't want to miss that thanks so much for watching i hope you've learned one or two things from my video if you've enjoyed it guys kindly like share subscribe and leave a comment for me i'll see you in the next video so take care of yourself and bye for now